Hello, my name is Tom Davis and welcome to the third part of the Davis Family History video series. In this video I'd like to focus on the ruined church and graveyard of St. Catherine's in the centre of Port Ram, in which a number of important Davis headstones exist. St. Catherine's Church is situated just off the Donabate Road as you enter the Port Ran village. The church is now in ruins but the graveyard has continued in use even up to recent times. The church, originally called St. Canis's, was under the ownership of the nunnery of Grace Jew, a well-established Augustinian convent founded in 1190, which flourished until the suppression of the churches in 1540 by Henry VIII. The nuns finally left Grace Jew in 1577, Queen Elizabeth I granted the church and rectory of Port Ran to Francis Agard. Francis Agard renamed the church as St. Catherine's. The church appears to have still been in use until the end of the 1600s, but subsequently fell into ruin. All four walls of the church still stand to some degree and form a long rectangular shape approximately 20 metres by 8 metres the doorway is situated in the southern wall. The most striking feature of the church is the tall three-storey tower with its castellated top giving it the look of a fortified tower house. In the southwest corner of the graveyard, to the left as you approach from the main gate, there are a number of headstones that are of particular significance in relation to Davis family history. One of the tallest headstones in the graveyard is a large limestone headstone of Nicholas Davis. This headstone is significant in that it contains the name of no less than 11 members of the Davis family buried there. All these come from what we've identified as the 1800s branch headed up by Nicholas Davis and Margaret McGrain. Nicholas and Margaret had five children in all between 1845 and 1859. Their first child, James, born 21st of February 1845, obviously died in infancy, as they named their second child, born 15th of April 1847, also James. Their third son, Anthony Davis, born 31st of March 1851, emigrated to New York around 1870, and married Annie Mason in New York on the 3rd of July 1874. Their first child, Margaret, was born in New York on the 25th of March, 1877. However, Anthony and Annie returned to Port Ran between 1877 and 1878, and their second child, Nicholas Davis, was born there on the 14th of October, 1878, as were their other seven children, Catherine, Mary, Anthony, Anne, Susan, John and Claire. The fourth son of Nicholas and Margaret, John, was born on the 26th of January 1855. He subsequently married Agnes Holt on the 3rd of March 1878, and they had one son, John, born on the 26th of March 1891. The son, John, emigrated to the US on the 31st of August 1907, and remained there giving rise to the Pennsylvania and New Jersey branch of the Davis family. Nicholas and Margaret's fifth son, Thomas, was born on the 18th of September 1859 and was my great-grandfather. He moved into central Dublin in the late 1870s and remained there for the rest of his life, giving rise to my own family line. In terms of the burials in the main grave in Port Ran, we have Nicholas Davis, 1892, Margaret Davis, 1907, their son Anthony Davis, 1913, Anthony's wife Annie Davis, 1904, Anthony's son Anthony Davis, 1924, Anthony's son John Davis, 1927, Anthony's nephew Nicholas Davis, 1933, son of Thomas Davis, 
Anthony's son Nicholas Davis, 1947, Nicholas's wife Christina Davis, 1953, Anthony's daughter Catherine Davis, 1967, and Anthony's daughter Mary Davis, 1968. The headstone is very prominent and stands over two metres high and is one of the more substantial headstones in the entire graveyard. Just to the right of the main Davis headstone is one of a Claire Thornton Nee Davis and her husband Matthew Thornton. I believe this Claire is also a daughter of Anthony Davis. This means that between the two graves we have three generations of the Davis family altogether. Like the ruined church, these headstones are a testimony to the past and a reminder of the Davis family existence in Portran. That's all for now. Thank you for watching and watch out for future videos in this series. Bye for now. Slán lát.